Hey guys, Netherite Dev here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, like, I don't know, like a clothing store thing that you can use for home stores and your games and stuff. So, it's pretty simple. You can see if you walk up to one of these little dummies wearing the clothing here, you can see a sign that pops up saying wear. And if you hold it, you can see I'm wearing these pants right now and I hold this. You can see that I changed. And then it so, and then this one will obviously change my shirt. So you can see it changed my shirt. And then this one will change both my clothing, as you can see. And you can always go back and change them whenever you want to. And it works. So, if you're excited for this, leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And without wasting your time anymore, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so I'm in my base plate here. And the first thing you can do is go to plugins, and you can find the rig bigger rig builder plugin that everybody should already have, um, because Roblox gives it to you automatically. And then you can just go ahead and click on block rig. You have a little dummy. So what we can do is in this dummy, we can go to its head. We can add in a proximity prompt, and in this proximity prompt here, you can set the action text to where. You can set the keyboard key to whatever you want, I'm just going to set to F, and hold duration for 0.5 seconds, or half a second. So now if we play it, you can see if I hold F, nothing happens because we haven't scripted it yet, but it does work and we can hold F. In this dummy, what we can do is we can actually add in some shirt or pants, whatever you want. So I'm going to create shirt and pants for each one, but first I'm going to do the pants. So what you can do is you can open up your browser and go to Roblox, then find a, find a shirt that you want to, or pants, I mean, that you want your, um, the player to wear when they hold the key. So I'm on my group right now, and I have a lot of clothing released here that's all original, so please check it out. And I'm going to find, I'll find this right here, I'll just get this right here. And what you can do is you can copy this random set of numbers here, which is the ID. Alright, so in the clothing here, I'm going to paste in the ID. And now you can see that the dummy is wearing the pants. So now what we can do is in the proximity prompt, we can go ahead and add in a script. And we are going to create a variable. So the variable is going to start with local. And then we're going to name it um, ID will be equal to script.parent. Dot parent dot parent three parents a script dot parent dot parent dot parent so we get access to dummy here and we're going to do dot clothing actually we can rename the clothing here to um pants so it's easier so I'll do script dot parent dot parent dot pants like that dot pants template all right so now that we have the pants template we can create a function. We're going to do script.parent.triggered. So if somebody holds down the F key, then we're going to see, we're going to access this function here. So script.parent.triggered, uh, call connect function, and we can create, just say player here. And you could call the function player. So right here, what we can do to test is we can print, um, we're going to do player dot name to test um, if it works, and then we'll also print the um, ID like that. So we're going to be printing player name and the clothing ID in the output to make sure it works. So if I wear it, then you can see it has the ID for the clothing and my name. And now that we know that works, we can go ahead and delete these two lines. Then we can do local char actually equals to player dot character you can do char dot pants template um, will be equal to id alright so now to check if it works you can go ahead and click play and we can hold air where here you can see that my pants just changed the pants I was wearing to this so it does indeed work now I'm going to show you how to do it with your shirt what we can do here is with this dummy, we can just go ahead and duplicate it. Oops. Um, Alright, so we have it, a dummy right here, our second dummy. And what we're going to do now is delete the pants entirely because we don't need the pants anymore. And we're going to add in um, a shirt 
And this time, back in our browser here, I'm just going to go um, back and I'll go ahead and get this, I guess. And again, I'll copy the ID number and I can paste that into here and rename the clothing to shirt. So now in the proximity prompt of this dummy right here in the script, we can set the ID to shirt um, dot shirt template like that. And then down here we can also say pant and uh, no char dot shirt. Alright, so now if we do it, you can see I do this. My pants get changed. And if I do this one, pants temp oh, okay. I messed up right here. So if you go back into the script right here, um it should say shirt template, of course. Alright, so if we test it out again. And now I can try it, change to my pants, and this one changes my shirt, as you can see, it works great. And then we can create another one with shirt and pants, so I can duplicate this and move it over here. And this one, I can add in some pants, because I already have a shirt. I named this to pants. And I'm going to go ahead and change the IDs of both. So I'm going to go ahead and change the ID of both the clothing. So back in the browser, I'll get two completely new clothing. So I get this one right here. I can go ahead and copy the ID again. And I can paste that into the shirt. So you can see I changed the, um, the shirt of this dummy here. So then for the pants, I'll go over here and get some gray camo. Uh, and I can copy the ID and put it in pants so you get a little matching outfit right there. Alright, so again, inside of the head in the proximity prompt script, script, um, you can set, you can do pants ID here, um, and then we can, oh no, this should be shirt ID, sorry, shirt ID right here. Um, then you can go ahead and copy this paste it over here, but this time will be pants ID and will be equal to pants dot pants template like that. So down here, I say char dot shirt dot shirt template will be equal to shirt ID. And then over here, uh, I can also fix the spelling of this. There you go. And I spelled pants wrong. There you go, it's fixed it. Um, so then down here we can also do char dot pants dot pants template will be equal to pants ID. Like that. So now if I play it, let's see, I can wear this. I can wear this. And then over here, I can wear both of them. As you can see, and then of course, you can go back, change it any way I want to. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps my content get out there, and I really appreciate it. Also, let me know in the comments what other tutorials you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!